The set comes with a whole host of different picks to try and master. And also a number of these tension tools. These all look very similar, but actually have very slight differences in size or shape. To pick the lock, the idea is to insert one of these tension tools into the bottom of the lock here and apply a small amount of tension or torsion to the cylinder. You need to do this with one hand while holding the lock as well. Then take a lock pick and we need to try and lift each pin so that the upper pin is above the shear line. Maintaining a small amount of torsion on the cylinder will stop the pins from falling back down. You need to also be careful not to lift the lower pins above the shear line as this will also prevent the cylinder from being able to turn. When they're all set at the correct height, you should be able to feel the resistance on the torsion tool diminish and now you're able to turn the cylinder and open the shackle. Pretty cool, huh? I'll show you again. It does take quite a bit of practice, but you really get a feel for what's going on and it is possible to pick the lock quite quickly. If I show you the other side of the lock as I twist the cylinder, Again, you can see all six of the lower pins and if I run the pick underneath them, you can see them moving up and down. When I line the cylinder back up, the top pins drop back and lock in place. It's a really good, fun puzzle to try and crack. You can try out different picks and see which one works best for you. But of course using a transparent lock is cheating a bit. So get yourself a real padlock and see how you get on. When you do eventually crack it, it's really satisfying. You can try lifting individual pins at a time or try using a rake like this to rake the lock. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you want to see more of my lock related videos,